Welcome back everyone to another video and today I am reviewing from the Jazz Wears Vault the long-awaited Ring of Honor Jay and Mark Briscoe figures. So first they come in this very nice I don't know how to describe it like I don't know but it comes off like a I'm losing my mind hold up sleeve there we go it's like a little sleeve on the on the box right there is the side of them same on the other side and then you gotta take the sleeve off now that's not gonna happen with one hand so I'm gonna have to cut the cut the feed real quick and here is Jay and Mark in the packaging truly beautiful packaging if you ask me I'm um, gonna spin it around and show you on the side there it's the same as on the sleeve on the back there it's the same that's on the back of the sleeve everything's the same except instead of the beautiful artwork on the front you have the beautiful figures in the front now let's crack these bad boys open and see what they're all about. Now here are them boys outside of the packaging. I will go through their accessories first and then touch on the figures themselves. So these are the accessories that the Briscoes come with. First, right up front, they have these nice cloth goods jackets. On the back it says... Dem boys, top five DOA, top five dead or alive, right on there. It's very nice, but they will stain your figures. So as soon as you get these, you're probably going to want to take these off before and hope that they don't do too much staining to the figures. But uh, they're very nice cloth goods. It's a little, uh, like, I don't know how to describe it, like frizzed. I don't know, the strings are kind of like right here. Like, there are some like loose strings on here and just frazzled around but other than that they're very nice accessories they're nice cloth goods and they come with two everything in this pack basically comes with two like it's just you get two of each for each brisco and they're very nice accessories very nice up next they come with uh two dog collars these dog collars are from their match that they had with FTR at uh, Final Battle 2022. They uh, have details right there, just like the, if it'll focus. There we go. Uh, it has like details right there, a little like thing right there to show that it's like strapped. It's very nice, and all you have to do is just pop off their head and put it on the figure. Uh, I don't know roughly how long it is but it's 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 quite long like yeah I can't even show it on camera that's how long it is um up next the ring of honor tag team championships they're nice belts my only peeve with them is that they're not even the accurate ring of honor champion tag team championships the briscoes never held these and these are not the championships that they fought for at final battle 2022 the the belts that they fought for are right up there in the corner those look pretty different to me these are the belts that like the kingdom have now the the newer ones that were introduced about a year ago so i don't know what that's about the artwork on the box too right over here has them holding the inaccurate belts that the briscoes never held so i don't understand the point of that and I don't understand why no one else seems to be mentioning that these are the wrong tag team championships. Anyways, finally, they come with interchangeable hands. These are fisted hands for Jay Briscoe. They have sculpted on the fist tape or wrist tape, which is very nice. It's like actually sculpted and looks how like a boxer or someone who tapes up their hands would actually like take their hands it looks really nice if it focuses ever in a million years nah, that's fine there we go yeah no that's nice those are for the J and for the mark it comes with a black fisted wrist tape hand and a normal wrist tape hand so those are all the accessories now let's get into the figures themselves so here is the mark briscoe right here First, I'm going to start out with the head scan and then move lower down. Now, this is a very nice head scan. I really like what they did with the uh, salt and pepper in the beard. The only thing is mine's a little misprinted. 
where he's more looking upward like if it zooms in and focuses if it focuses if it focuses so yeah uh, he comes with this nice sculpted on bandana right there very nice uh, moving on to the tattoos they are very well done very very well done with the tattoos that cross is a little annoying because if he's like doing that or like going for a clothesline right there that's not going to be connected at all but other than that I mean they had to do what they had to do so it's alright they have a 72085 to 11602 I don't know who that's for but that's a date someone for someone I don't know uh, on the shoulder here looks like he's got like a chicken or something which makes sense since he's the Sussex County chicken a uh, Bible verse right there Joshua 1 5 uh, cards right there and praying hands now moving down into the camo pants if it focuses there we go moving down to the camo pants they're very nice the articulation I mean you can't get a full bend due to how thick and baggy the pants are so that's about the bend you'd get on like a basic figure but it's not bad it really isn't that bad it's a bit it's a bit better you get about 90 degrees you get about 90 so on both legs they're very thick but that's about what the briscoes wore is very baggy very thick pants uh, but the boots I really like the boots get a really good ankle like ankle pivot I guess you also get a full boot rotation right there which is nice up here you get a thigh cut right there you go up about that much with the leg ab crunch is you know it's an AW figure ab crunch is pretty good um with his head you can go up all the way but you can't really go down much since he has that big old beard blocking him you know he has the uh, double jointed arms get uh, about that much with the arm with the shoulder joint and uh, yeah that's about the articulation of this figure it's very nice wrist you know just basic articulation for these figures nothing nothing too crazy but it is still a good figure now up next we have the J Briscoe now starting at the top with the head scan it is very nice just like with the mark it is a little misprinted but it's not bad like here's him completely facing forward and just turn it barely any and now he's looking at you it's not a terrible misprint other than that the head scan is very nice very very nice it's a full look up not so great look down articulation is exactly the same the tattoos on this figure are incredible like you get the chest the pec tattoos on both pecs thy rod and thy staff they comfort me all right uh fear no evil right there on the stomach uh another bible verse with the cross right there another deck of cards seems like they both had similar tattoos he has a tattoo on the on his back right there uh, a couple tattoos on the arms back here like a grenade right there There's something on his inner arm right there that on his shoulder and it just has tattoos all over so the tattoo work on this figure is great in fact I almost forgot he has a tattoo on his neck right there it's almost hidden by his if he's looking this way you can't see it at all like that's completely covered but if you twist his head a certain angle you can see it now with the pants Jay has a silver buckle uh, belt buckle instead of Mark's completely black belt buckle and their camo pants are different like they have different designs like you see that on the knee right there it's not on the knee right here like they have different designs for the pants which I feel is a great detail yeah, I, I really appreciate that much effort the boots are the exact same as the mark briscoe 
so nothing nothing too crazy here full ankle rotation full ankle rotation up and down ankle pivot right there the articulation is the exact same so that's it for the J now for figure comparisons I am doing a comparison to their final battle 2022 opponents Dax Harwood and Cash Wheeler FTR now these figures scale perfectly together I mean they're both made by the same company so here's the J I'm pretty sure if my memory serves me right these two were the two who were connected by the dog collars J and Dax right here so here's your scaling for those two Dax is a little actually he's almost a head taller I'm gonna have to double check if that's about accurate but yep I'm sure it is though I'm sure it's fine um, and Mark and Cash Cash is also well he's not as he's not that much taller than the Mark but he's still a, a good bit taller a hair taller maybe a few inches in real life uh, in figure form, maybe, I don't even know, that's that's nothing. But still, they uh, scale very well together, and so that is that. Now that is going to do it for the Briscoes figure review. Obviously, I have a few minor gripes, like the misprinting on the eyes, and I feel the legs could be a little bit tighter to my liking. But all in all, they are really solid figures, and it fills the gap in my collection that I've been waiting to fill for years. The Briscoes are my favorite tag team of all time, and so it is very, very sweet to fill this gap in my collection. I would like to thank you all for watching, and if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and while you're down there, might as well hit that like button too. I will see y'all in the next one. Peace!